Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play UFO Extraterrestrials. Last time we've just researched something and we're going to research more stuff. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff. Let's actually look at the UFOpedia. What we have uh, researched... Uh, where is it? Advanced Chemical Warfare, there we go. We've made great strides in the areas of new caustic chemicals, acids, poisons, and aliens' physiology. This has led to several new uh, concepts useful for deploying new weapon systems. Continued research into the larva class of aliens has revealed new ways to store chemicals, as well as make our existing mixtures more potent and effective against the aliens. Okay. So now we can research stun rockets, chemical rockets, stun grenades, chemical grenades, blah blah blah. Let's do stun grenades mark two. <clears throat> that sounds quite good. All the scientists of, on that, of course, we're still uh, making more wasp keepers. VK02 sounds like a tiger tank, really. <clears throat> the Porsche one. Um, the Porsche one, actually. Right. Let's go to the soldiers. We've been renaming them last time because we've lost quite a few people. Over here, we have a soldier that we will name... Marvin, welcome to uh, the troops. I'll have to give you an EO rifle as per usual. We also need yeah, more ammo and more med kits and more everything and more armor. Oh, crap. I'm not sending you there. Because that, uh, yeah. Okay, for now, let's just do some proper research and such. Stun grenade mark two. New methods of subduing aliens is a direct result of extensive biochemical research. Advances in alien biochemistry have allowed us to take advantage of their specific weaknesses to certain chemicals. These new grenades are nearly twice as effective as the previous generation. That's quite good, actually. Let's see. Where is the stun grenade? Stun grenade. There's a 60. So yeah, indeed. They've got twice the strength. Not bad. Um, chemical grenade, chemical rocket... Let's do the battleship first. Actually, is this the first one we... No, it's not the first UFO. We, we've been researching other UFOs as well, haven't we? Avonium mining. Patria. Nope, Patria will be angry at you doing that, so they will be taking you down. That... That AQ cannon is doing a lot of damage, I believe. Right, there we go. The alien battleship is the big brother of the battle cruiser and is the biggest combat vessel in the alien armada. It is equipped with powerful weapons and a huge crew. The vessel is heavily armored with advanced craft armor and powered with two fusion reactors and seven gravity engines located in the engine room in lower part of the vessel. The battleship can perform escape maneuvers with great agility thanks to the Askea device. This uh, device also resides in the engine room and it can store energy, uh, energy for later use when it's... When is acceleration needed? The alien berth is split between the upper and lower levels of the alien vessel, and it has the capacity to treat 18 aliens sim simultaneously. The alien battleship is a perfect attack vessel suitable for single missions, as well as for flotilla leadership. So basically, nothing much we get from this. Ooh! You have a cryo space flight. This is probably, um... Let me do the rocket first. Chemical rocket. Stun rocket mark two, also kind of nice. Yeah, let's do that first. How are we doing on this front? Very slowly, actually. Ah, oh, zero progress. We're out of money again. Uh, this is really bad. I need more money. I have too many bases. That's 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 simply that. I might get rid of some bases or something, I don't know. Let me actually see the money. Where, where can I see my finances? Um, can I click on this? No. Monthly report. Okay, so let's see. Maintenance costs. What? Well, actually, I don't have that many m that much maintenance costs. Um, yeah. The bases and the ships are taking the most away. Hmm. I'm not getting that much money. I mean, I am, but uh, it's struggling a bit. Yeah, I think I should get. Uh, I should sell some. 
Let's see. <clears throat> which which base is this actually? Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Medi. Okay, so this is Medi. Let's transfer both of the fighters over there. Send them there. And then in the base, I have to remember not to do anything else. I'm going to sell this building and only keep one hangar for production. Okay, go back here and make more advanced workshop, maybe. I do have surgery now, right? Where's my surgery? Oh, there's surgery. I've got two workshops here now. Hmm, that's not great. A Q defense. Maybe I should do that as well. To prevent all the bloody raids all the time. But hey, there'll be money. Hmm, advanced workshop. Let's... Ah, of course, I need money for that. <laughs> uh, and once again, I'm in uh, debt. And it's only the 8th. That's another battleship. Retaliation, it's going for Peloponnesia. For once. Let's finally see how that um, defense is going to work out. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. You already go back, because you're gonna get hurt. No, it missed you. Ow, yep, go back. You can only take one more shot. Ow. Whoa, we actually destroyed it? That was quite nice. So we didn't need the defense. <laughs> Maybe I should just leave it to get to Peloponnesia and see how it does. Abductions. Everyone get it. Maybe I should wait for it to land and then get it. Ow. Yeah, go back. Phew. Man, these are so nasty. Go back. Ow. Who's getting hurt now? You, get back. See, this is so ridiculous. You can't stay and fight at all. Come on. Another abductions. Oh, and it didn't leave a uh, crash site. Mm. You guys are coming over here. Let's get it. If you have the fuel, probably not. You do. Alright. Well, that wasn't money either. A UFO swarm. Okay, I need to do this. Oh, crap. It's three battleships. Great. You've got to be kidding me. Well, that's the leader. <laughs> How the hell am I going to do this? They're going to get my fighters down immediately. Well, right, let's, let's try something. Let's get everything over here. Oh. Get them all together. But they're they're gonna run out of fuel. That's the that's the biggest problem. All right, just go for this one. Come on, what? Come on, guys, go. There you go. And now get all these guys. Probably should wait a little bit, but. Ow! Ow! Go back home. Who's getting attacked now? Go back home. Where are you going? Oh my god, look at that. Go back home, you're gonna get destroyed. Yep, already did. Well, hey, it's gonna be less uh, money spent, right? You just shoot more, because you're gonna destroy it. Get destroyed anyway. Look at that. Okay, has been shot down. Everybody back home, please. Everybody. Back home. Well, that was a lot of money lost. Wait, where's the swarm leader? There, okay, they're gonna protect it, right? Yeah, they're gonna stay there. Probably until it's gone. Hopefully not. Come on, I want to get it, I need the money. I did get a lot of money though, bloody hell. That was really good. It was worth the fighters I've lost. Get away! I don't think I can get them away, unfortunately. I don't want to send more fighters, because they're just gonna get destroyed again. Yeah, the, uh, the leader is gone, so I can't get it. Ah, screw it. I, I did get a lot of nice money, though. 
Our advanced chemical research has resulted in some surprising advances in chemical warfare. This new generation of chemicals is more effective against the aliens than ever before. The new Mark II chemical rocket is similar to previous generations, except that it is considerably more effective. Wow. These, uh, these uh, descriptions are awesome. Right, let's do this. Why can we only do the spaceflight computer and stuff like that from the battleship? Why not all the, the other, you know, UFOs? Do they not go through space as well? It doesn't make any sense. I'm just gonna leave these. Oh, I could get that one, I guess. Right, let's uh, make sure everyone is ready. You're definitely getting the wasp keeper. Or the beekeeper. It is heavier, though. Oh, no, it's not, actually. Hmm. Wait. Uh, more stim packs and such. You've got quite a lot of available weight because of this personal jetpack. Maybe I should... What the hell is this? Oh, the distortion field. Gen Maybe I should give you more grenades, really. There we go. Right, Scott Nielsen. George Mellons. Battle Bunny. And that's it. And then we need to make sure that everybody has the second best armor. Desert Viper. There we go. Already overloaded, of course. Mm. Yeah, that's okay. Better armor here. Excellent. You have the strength for that. That is good. Sir Loads is still in hospital, unfortunately. Mr. L Ninja already has the Desert Viper. Holy crap, your strength is through the roof! Sheebus! Look at that. You can have the rocket launcher, no problem. Man! That is ridiculous. Pretty awesome. You can be our, uh... Our, um, healer. Mr. L Ninja. Didn't Mr. L Ninja die? No, it was other people, wasn't it? Okay, so that's it. Right, launch! Let's go. Be begin. This was a what? Was this? This wasn't. This was a fighter, right? I think. This was not a battleship at all. Yeah, that uh, swarm leader actually quite helped us, even though we lost, what, three, maybe four interceptors? It's really annoying, and then you have to keep replacing them and such. Ugh, oh well. Right, let's see what we're facing. Yawaris, a rookie. Mr. El Ninja, the experienced guy. What is he? I don't know. Doesn't tell me. Anyway. Where are the aliens? <clears throat> the good doctor. Another rookie. Gotta be careful. Babos. Another rookie. Dragon 7. Experienced veteran. Ah. What the, what the hell is that? You know, I have to give it to the game. To the developers, there sure is a lot of uh, variety. Crap, a lot variety um, of these various aliens. Where can I hit it from? Shite, Alex the Great. Or can you hit it from here somewhere? Let's try. Ah, oh, thirty-one. There's no way. What the hell is that? If I could just shoot this, maybe I could shoot it as well. 41. Well, let's try. Oh, come on, come on. Excellent. Nice. Very nice dragon. No idea what that was, but it was some kind of a robot, I think. Drone. So we're facing something new again. Ah, the people in uh, the beekeeper. It's not the wa Is it wasp keeper or is it the beekeeper? I forget. I don't know. Doesn't matter. It's good protection, so that's uh, the most important thing. Mocha! Not very experienced, but he already has the uh, very good armor. Very nice. Scott Nielsen and George Mellons. Right. Everyone ready. End the turn. Oh, door is opening. Sounds on the right, but of course... Ugh. Snake Man! Hello, Snake Man! They have the nasty weapons, though. The EO rifles. So we gotta be careful. Ugh. Ugh. I like the fact that they uh, leave a trail of, I'm guessing, slime? I don't know. 
They should die in one shot, but I'm still gonna do an auto shot just in case, yeah. Very nice. <clears throat> well, that hit a building of some... Actually, no, the trees explode as well, so... Doesn't necessarily need to be a building, yeah, it was just a tree exploding. Because that's what happens in real life, trees explode. Be careful, kids. Ugh, it's another one of those things. No idea what it does, and it's actually flying, which means that I think Battle Bunny should be able to hit it from there. Let's do an aim shot. Bang! Well, that wasn't enough, but if you don't miss this, excellent. <laughs> Clunk! Very nice. All right, just a moment. There was another. S yep, there he is. Kill it with fire. Oh, he actually survived one shot. And that is why, kids, we have auto shots. So do they have? Yeah, just the AO rifle and the stasis grenades. Mr. L Ninja. Let's find us some more enemies over here. Oh, that's the UFO. George Mellons. We're gonna go around. I think the entrance is on the other side. Mocha. Well, the rookies are probably not gonna get much action over here because um, they are lacking the time units and the stamina to run long distances. But they will. They should still be getting quite a lot of XP for just being on the mission. So uh, that, that's gonna be okay. Hello. How are you today? Ugh. Did you hear it move? <laughs> yeah, these are definitely some sort of robots. Uh, I'm not going to be able to shoot through here now, so we need to go over here and shoot it. I'm kind of morbidly curious as to what they will do, but at the same time, I do not want to see them shoot. Because <laughs> it's probably going to be horrible in some way. I don't know. It's going to shoot rockets or black holes or whatever. Let's get it. Bang! No commanders. Kind of weird, but I don't mind. Wait a second. It's just something that just occurred to me. On the research screen, it says that I've got Vipon commanders to research, right? But it never mentioned anything about preacher commanders. Does that is that simply because I have to research the snakeman commanders first and then the preacher commanders just because the game doesn't let you have a choice between several commanders. Is this a door? Is this a... I don't know. But anyway, we're gonna find out, because we're gonna research all of them. The the amount of commanders you require in this game, however, is ludicrous. I mean, you'd think that the aliens would figure out, okay, well, we've lost, you know, two two-thirds of our commanders from the entire army already. Maybe we should stop sending them out. Because they're kind of giving away all the information about our entire civilization and technology. Which is then being used against us. But, oh well. I kind of liked it more in the previous games where commanders were something special. Something, you know, you... You really had to fight for to get to. And, uh, and then capture. I don't know. So wait, is this actually a door? It is. It is a door. That's nice. Hello, floaty blub blub thing. Oh no, don't miss. Lovely. <laughs> Clonk. And another snake man in there. Well, Mocha is getting some lovely stuff done here. If he doesn't miss, of course. <sighs> Come on. That was two miss. Uh, what, three misses. Alex the Great is gonna finish this. There we go. Oh, he's looking at you. Nice. I do like how these uh, bolts of energy look, though. It's kind of pretty. Scott Nielsen. Let's go. George Mellons is checking the, the side of the UFO. There's probably nothing here. Yeah. Uh, Battle Bunny will go in as well. Jazz the mill is here. Needs to get to the UFO. Furious George, yeah, I'm just gonna click everyone and get them inside of here. There we go. Alright. Everyone ready? Yes, they are. End the turn! Ugh. Ah, crap. Ugh. Ow, 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 ow. Oh. Yeah, shoot your buddy. No, ow! This could hurt. Oh, it wasn't an auto shot, though. 
So that was nice. Well, in any case, we will continue next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you then. Goodbye.